What's up, guys? Uh, I guess it has been brought to my attention that at the beginning of my videos, I should say who I am. Uh, I guess that's all right. Hey, guys, it's TJ. Uh, the channel is brass and lead because I'm still learning all this social media and content uh, thing, and uh, I really didn't know what else to call the channel, so... TJ with Brass and Lid. Um, I was on my way home and um, had a few thoughts cross my mind. Uh, had a pretty wild week, but uh, last week we went to um, St. Lucia uh, for my sister's wedding ceremony. And I don't travel much. There is a lot of people out there that do a lot of traveling, and I'm not one of them. Uh, so, I knew that I was going to have to fly, and I had to do some research on what I could carry on the plane. Now, no, you cannot bring a firearm to St. Lucia. So, that's out. So I already felt pretty naked without, you know, without my carry pistol. And knowing that I was going to be so far from home with thousands of miles of water in between me and any Second Amendment right. However, uh, through looking at uh, some websites for the FAA and uh, stuff like that, I did discover that you can carry a knife on your uh, the baggage that you check and the baggage that you know that not your carry on but your check baggage. So I uh, I have a kernel blade that was given to me by my good friend uh, Garrett with uh, Landers Weapon Systems. Um, and that is a really cool knife. Uh, you can you can appendix carry it. You can do all these different things with it. Super sharp, very very effective uh, tool for self defense. So <clears throat> I went ahead and I packed that up real tight in my check baggage. Um, also, I bought a uh, well I dropped it, but uh, a tactical pin which basically is just a pin that the cap screws off of and uh, on the end that is opposite of the part that you write with, it has a tungsten uh, tip on it that is extremely hard and pretty sharp. Uh, so you can either use it to knock windows out if you're trapped in a vehicle or somebody else is trapped in a vehicle or if you see a little fluffy Pomeranian dog stuck and left in a vehicle, you can knock that window out and get the dog out and then when the owner shows up you can knock them out for leaving a dog in a hot vehicle in the summertime i digress uh the whole point is that there are things you can do and things that you can bring with you to um make yourself feel a little safer and give you a little bit of peace of mind even though you go to a country that you cannot carry a firearm uh so i brought uh, the kernel blade I brought my tactical pin coincidentally I bought the tactical pin thinking that I could carry it on the plane as I was looking through the list of items that you can and cannot carry onto the plane a damn tactical pin was one of them now I don't think they would have said anything about it I think I probably could have just had it thrown it down in there and it would have been no problem I really don't think that would have been an issue, but I didn't want to chance it. I just bought it. Um, so I packed it with the Colonel Blade. Um, also, we was going to a place that uh, you're not exactly going to resort. You know, this place was so beautiful and so amazing. And after this uh, video, I'll be posting my GoPro footage. Uh, and showing y'all what that looked like there and it was it was an amazing experience um and congratulations to my sister uh on her nuptials 
and um, but it was an amazing experience and but at the same time where we went we was up in the mountain and the villa runs off of a uh, partial uh, power that is supplied by power line and then uh, solar power so some things are solar some things are power line uh, fed well we had some issues with um, we had a breaker box explosion while we was there so guess who was the only one that got made fun of for bringing flashlights this guy so there is no city lights there is no moon at the time and it is incredibly dark I mean you cannot see your hand in front of your face and there's places at the villa that if you step take one wrong step you will fall 500 feet to your death um, so having flashlights and the ability to see when you can when it's dark outside is extremely important and a flashlight does not take any room it is completely safe and uh, logical to carry anywhere you go so I had some flashlights only one that packed flashlights um, I uh, now one thing that I didn't bring I wanted to pack like a little first aid kit uh, but we ended up not needing it but I wish I would have had you know just something small it turned out the villa had an, a decent little first aid kit for stuff because I mean uh, everything sticks things or bites in St. Lucia uh, seen two people that got stepped on urchins and they had urchin spines uh, you know just stuff like that but so the flashlight really helped out so if you're traveling somewhere pack some